Now a project like this may seem pretty daunting at first, but you've got to remember, every big project and journey starts with a good cup of coffee. Hi guys and welcome back to day two of Mural Madness. Today we're going to make a start on getting the murals uh, painted on the side of this custom street van, the Buccaneer. First thing we have to do is mask up the white area and then give the glass a good clean, ready for a spray. We're going to spray it with a white satin first and that gives a, a good uh, surface for the hand painted mural to stick to. It's got to have something to stick to rather than just going straight on the glass. Uh, so it's good weather today, it's quite early, it's about 8.30 in the morning, it's a little bit overcast, so which is what I like, I don't like that direct sunlight uh, when I'm painting, and uh, it's not too hot, so I'm going to do it in the morning before it gets too hot, and then I'll have a break and we'll probably do some more in the evening when it starts to cool down a little bit. Uh, so not sure how much I'll get done this morning, but um, at least we're going to get it all masked up on both sides and get this uh, all cleaned up ready for a spray paint. Okay, let's get moving. Now I've given it a good clean. I'm going over it again with a brand new clean cloth just to get it extra clean, okay? Okay, now I start the masking up. I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is put a strip of tape all the way around the edge of the windows. Get it nice and close and accurate all the way around first on both sides and then I'll apply the paper. Okay, now it's time to give the glass a good scrape just to get rid of any uh, specks of dust or things that are uh, bits of grit that may be stuck on the surface. Well, a little bit of a breeze has come up. Um, it's just a slight breeze, that's all, and it's not constant. Uh, it comes and goes, so most of the time it's still quite calm. Uh, I've got the glass really clean, so while it's so clean and beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and push it and actually do the spray. Uh, at the end of the day, you don't know what it's gonna be like tomorrow. It could be windy, you don't know, and uh, it could be windy for the next two or three days. So uh, I'm gonna push my luck today and try and do uh, a few coats of the white Try and get it nice and smooth and uh, looking good with this. So, uh, fingers crossed, folks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do several coats. So the first uh, uh, couple of coats won't look very good, okay, because it'll be very, very thin. I'll just slowly build it up until I've got a nice, smooth, thick layer of the white. Right, well that's the first coat done. Um, very, very lucky here with the weather. There's no breeze at all. Just perfect conditions for spraying. Uh, so I've done the first coat. As you can see, it's very thin. You can see right through it. 
um, and this paint does dry really really fast so I'm going to wait about five minutes and then I'm going to give it another coat. Um, I haven't sprayed my back window I've left that clear but it is a very very dark tint so it does look quite black. I still want to paint a mural or something on there uh, but I don't want to completely black out the whole window. I like to be able to see out my rear vision mirror when I'm driving. So I want to maintain some a little bit of visibility, even if it's just a little, so that I know if there's a car behind me or not. Um, so it's good to have that visibility. So I don't want to block out the black the back window. Now the reason why I'm doing so many coats and putting it on so thin is that if I put it on thick the paint will start to run and if I get a drip or a run mark on the window it gives me a terrible surface to start my mural and I'd have to scrape down and clean the whole glass right down and start from scratch and I don't want that it will be a disaster so put it on very very thin and just build it up and uh, that way you avoid hopefully getting any runs from the paint. Well it seems to be going really well. It's nice and smooth and even. There's no run marks or, or lumps or specks of dust that are stuck to the glass. It's lovely and smooth and even. Um, probably give it two more coats just to even it up a bit and uh, it won't be as full and as, as thick as the paint on the van. Remember this is only to give our mural something to stick to. It's to take away that black dark look from the window and give the mural something to stick to. So it doesn't have to be as thick and as even as the paint on the van. It's just got to cover it basically. Uh, but I'm very very happy with it. It's, um, I've been lucky with the weather. There's no wind. So it's lovely and even and smooth. My confidence is rising up. And um, I'm going to give it another couple of coats. But uh, my can of my can of spray and this is a good point to remember it's still got about that much on the bottom it's not empty yet but I'm going to throw it away and start with a fresh can because when a can gets to the bottom the spray paint can get a bit splotchy and spittery a bit like a car when it's running out of pitch it'll, <coughs> it'll cough a little bit and that can throw out little spots of paint and drips uh, that'll spit onto the paint and leave a terrible look um, so before the can runs out, I'm starting with a brand new can to avoid any coughing and spluttering with the paint. So a couple more coats and I think that's it. Stage one is looking pretty good. As you can see, looking from this angle, it is really smooth. No runs, no big specks of dust or lumps. Uh, a really nice surface for our mural, I think. Right, well I think that's one of the hardest parts of this project completed and uh, completed successfully. So I'm very happy. I think it's going to need probably one or probably two days to go hard now. Remember I've got a drawer on it, maybe adjust the drawings a little bit. So uh, I need it to be really set, really hard and dry. So i um, going to give it a couple of days to really start to, to set and go hard before I do the next stage. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Remember if you know anyone who's interested in art or painting, introduce them to the channel and uh, follow along with this uh, art project. Hit subscribe if you enjoy the video, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified and uh, stick with me and we'll talk on the next uh, video. We pro proceed with stage two. Cheers.